Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, I am going to show you. Know, I want somebody to respond and tell me what are these called? Um, they look like a bobble when you need it, but you don't have to go through the work of making the bobble. So that's really cool. So it's, it's kind of a fun hat. Um, stitch or, yeah, yarn. So then you, should I get this closer? Let me move my chair closer. Okay, you want to hear all of that. Okay. And then I pull down to secure it because otherwise it can be a little loose. So I pull it down and it's... Um, a little firm so when you knit it it's a firm like like a knitted bobble I put that right after I let that into the orifice then I start another one and I'm using three plies I'm going back and forth back and forth and it looks like a little bird's nest I could do it really tidy or really messy ish and then scrunch it down when I scrunch it down I want an absolute bobble I don't want a cone shape which is fine but when I'm knitting, I want to be able to shove it to the right side so it looks like a bobble. I'm, yeah, I'm going to make something fun with this. So there we go. goes into the orifice, and then it's time for me to start a new one. Up, down. You fell down. I'm sorry. That hurt. Um, down, up, down. Okay, now you're in the sun. Why did you do that? Um... Someone told me the other day, you need to edit your films. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, if I knew how. Okay. So I went up and down, up and down. Let me pull this out of the oops, bottom a little bit. And you can see it's, it's let me get to this spot, messy, messy. So I'm going to pull it and scrunch it up so it's a firm, big blob. So when it's knitted and it goes, I put it on either side of the fabric I want. If it's a scarf, you know, do whatever side, but or if it's, if it's trim, then I just like having little bubbles. And I think I'm going to dye this. I don't know. I'm just going to have fun with this one. I've got to build up a lot of yarns for a show. So, anyway, so they're up, down. I don't know what's going on with that single, but I'll just catch that in the ply so that, um, yeah, up, down, up, down. Ply, 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 ply. I'll show you that bobble. I'm going to scrunch it up because I want it a ball. Uh, I want it a ball. <laughs> I like fast knitting projects. I don't want to stop. I like to be able to do it when I'm watching TV or whatever. And I don't want to go back and forth. Um, I am going back and forth there. And I don't want to stop and count things and turn on the light. I like to knit in the dark and just keep going. So there you go. In order for this one, because I'm stopping and plying in one spot for some time, in order for this single on my left side to not get untwisted too much, you know, when you ply, you're going back the opposite direction. So in order to get too much, I hold it, I pinch it off right where the where I'm making the bobble. I don't know what I'm doing here. So um, that way, that part of the yarn doesn't get a chance to get unplied. Did that show? Not too far away. Last time I got closer, you fell. Okay, if anybody wants to tell me what this is called, you know, I've watched so many bit videos and gone to so many classes that, um, sure, I didn't invent this. What, you know, so many people say they invent things. I don't think anything's, anything's been invented. I don't think there's anything when it comes to knitting really proprietary because I imagine it's been done before. So there you go. And let me see if I can pull it out. Let's pull it out. See, so you get you get a, where's my, where is the cat? Oh, there it is. Wow, I didn't know that's where the actual thing was. So you get a bobble, you get some single, then you get another bottle. Bobble, then you get some single, and you get another bobble. And you get some single, and you get another bobble. And that'll be a really stinking fun yarn. I hope. <laughs> I'll show you when the thing's all done. And then I will, um, you know, because I'm going to sell this for myself. I don't know. I don't want to, um, I like to do like, you know, um, you know, a quarter of the bobbin with one type of yarn and then switch over spinning a different type of yarn. 
so that it's like, um, like you used a lot of different yarns and you never had to weave in a single stitch. And that, I don't know, some people might like that process of, of knitting. I know most don't, lots don't. There you go. That's how I make my little, um, sometimes they're called bird's nests. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. It's been years since I learned all the different flying techniques and stuff. And so now, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thanks. Let me know. But there you see, that's one way to make a no novelty yarn that isn't necessarily crazy novelty. And you don't have to have a million different fibers. This is all Cormo or may, I think it might be Cormo via Bell Cross for my sheep. So you can make novelty yarn. And then I could dye this different colors so it ends up with different yarns with bobbles and that'll be really fun. I obviously could add in some uh, more texture. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should add in some silk threads right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Let me go get some silk threads. I think I'll add in. That'll be part two. Bye-bye.